Hey guys, Sandra here. It's Saturday night. I had some time today to do a bit of shopping while my son was at a birthday party. So I went to um, Choices Markets, which is comparable to Whole Foods. So I wanted to show you what I got. And I also went to a local farmer's market as well. So I'll start with what I got from Choices. I got this Earth Balance Organic Coconut Flavor Spread. I thought I would try this as a substitute for coconut butter in some recipes that I have. Or I thought I could use it when I make stir fries or sauteed veggies. Uh, I like to do veggie stir fries. Um, so I thought I would give that a try instead of oil. Then I got this mixed bean sprouts. There is red and green lentils in here, peas, azuki, and garbanzo sprouts. So I thought I would give these a try, maybe in some soups or uh, salads. And I got this Red Star Nutritional Yeast. I've used this brand before. It's my favorite. And I got some more. I still have some, but I, I know I'm going to be making some kale chips this week. So I bought some more. And I got here this organic raw buckwheat groats. I've used this before uh, in making granola in my dehydrator and I thought I might try this as a cereal on its own so I could soak it overnight and then dehydrate it and it can be uh, used as a cereal with almond milk and it should be pretty tasty. Maybe add some dried fruit to it, raisins or something like that. And I got these rice crisps, unsalted. Thought I would try this, maybe make some hummus or guacamole, give that a try. And I got, I saw this on Team Broccoli's, one of Team Broccoli's videos, this stuffed turkey from Gardein, so I thought I would give it a try. Uh, maybe this week I'll do that. My husband's coming home from work on Thursday, he works out of town, and uh, maybe I'll give it a try. We both can give it a try and I'll let you guys know how I like it. Um, Jen and her husband really seem to enjoy this that night, so I will give this a try as well. And I got here some pea shoots. These I'll probably put in sandwiches or wraps. I'm going to make some bread in my dehydrator, some raw bread this week. And uh, I'll have some pea shoots. I can also add this to salads too as well. And some baby arugula. I really like the taste of arugula, the peppery taste of it. I really, really like it. So I'll probably be making a salad with this um, pear and walnuts and a nice vinaigrette. That'll be yummy. And I got some organic traditions, cacao powder. One of my bread recipes, my raw bread recipes, calls for cacao powder. So I finally bought some. I've never used it before. I had the cacao nibs once, uh, but I've always wanted to try the powder, so let's see. And maybe I can make some chocolate pudding, avocado, and a few other things. Chocolate banana ice cream or something. And then finally from Choices, I got this Earth Balance Vegan Aged White Cheddar Flavor Popcorn. I've always wanted to try this. I do enjoy popcorn once in a while. Um, and uh, so I wanted to give this a try. I see a lot of people that I've seen in videos on YouTube, they eat this Earth Balance brand, so I thought I would give it a try as well. That was all I got from Choices. The bill was, let me see here, $57.55. Expensive, but I don't shop there very often, so once in a while it's okay. Now from my local farmer's market, it's called Two E's Farm. I got this 10 pound bag of locally grown BC fresh potatoes, two packages of raspberries, a bunch of bananas, and two bunches of green onions. I was excited about the potatoes because for that 10 pound bag it was $1.99. The bananas were two seventeen, and the green onions were one dollar and fifty eight cents. The raspberries were four ninety eight. They were two two 
$4.49 a piece, something like that. Altogether, I paid $10.72, so not bad. Not bad. Um, I'm going to try this week. Um, I'm really having a hard time with this fully raw. Um, I'm still really needing something crunchy and... Um, so I think while I'm transitioning, I, I'm going to not be so restrictive and strict on myself, but I still want to make healthier choices. So I thought at least if I'm sticking to being vegan, um, or at least plant, plant based for the most part, then, you know, I won't feel so bad. Um, and I also, I bought these the other day. These are persimmons. They're pretty hard. I don't know how long it's going to take for them to ripen up. But I'm really curious to try these. I thought saw, uh, I know that Fully Raw Christina really enjoys persimmons. And um, I've always wanted to give them a try, but I never could see them. And I finally saw them in one of these, one of the Asian fruit markets the other day. These were eight for $2. But they're pretty hard. I don't know how long it takes for them to ripen up. I'll probably maybe look it up on the internet. Unless somebody that's watching, if you... If you have any tips on how to ripen these quicker, let me know. I bought a big papaya the other day, and unfortunately, before it ripened, it started to go moldy in spots, so I had to throw it away. I think it was too big, and I didn't. I bought it when it was not ripe at all. So I think I think when you buy them, you should buy them when they're maybe half.